Hello gamers, how you doing? Welcome back. Welcome back to another stream. How's it going? How's y'all doing? <laughs> God damn it, what is... <laughs> why is... Why is the channel not moving? God damn it! <laughs> I hate this! I heard the whole thing, but I, I'm assuming none of you did, so... Uh, let me see what the fuck is going on there. God fucking damn it. This, this always breaks. It always just fucking breaks. Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. Why the fuck does it always break? I heard the whole thing. That was the worst part. <laughs> Let me just let me let me reset the thing. Let me reset the fucking software again. God damn it. Let's let's see. Who is this dragon? Okay, you now it works. A for a dog. <laughs> anyway, God damn it. Sadly, never works. Go to sleep for work. Good night, chat. Have fun with stream. This fucking thing never works. I hate it. I hate it so much. Anyways, how y'all doing? Welcome. Welcome everyone to this stream. everyone else has had a decent day free of earthquakes, unlike me. Oh shit, I'm sorry to hear that. Anyways, still, though, thank you for joining the, the stream, William. I'm sorry you can't stay. Have a good one, though. I'll, I'll see you next time, hopefully. Have a good one. <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm always... It's always William that never has, like, a proper experience with the TTS. I'm so sorry, William. <laughs> The fucking TTS always breaks for some reason. Anyways, hello everyone. Hello. Also, uh, hello Sheriff. I see you. I see you change your name. Son of Krypton. All right. All right. <laughs> stay or you're going to the timeout corner. <laughs> no more feed picks if it doesn't stay. If it doesn't stay, there's no more feet picks ever again. It was only a four point eight, but we never get earthquakes around where I live, so people were freaking out. Oh yeah, I can imagine. If, if you're not used to it, then yes, it's it's fucking scary. We are pretty used to earthquakes around here, so so a four point eight is not really that bad. But but yeah, they can they can be scary. They can be scary. We had we had some like four point somethings at the start of the year, where like the center of the, the, the quake was here in Mexico City. Usually they're outside of the city, but like, anyways. <laughs> Point being, we're, we're playing Dragon's Dogma. We're playing Dragon's Dogma. Dragon these nuts, Dragon these dogmas, cross your face. Uh, I've had this fucking game on my Steam library for ages. The, the thing is, whenever Honestly, I tried I to play it... it was the local stone quarry using explosives again. Oh, Lomel. <laughs> whenever I tried to play, like, fucking years ago, I just kept getting, like, a GPU error. There was, like, a fucking, like, error code whenever I tried to launch it, so, like, I never played it. Uh, but now, with, like, the whole thing with Dragon's Dogma 2 and everyone talking about how, like, the original is, like, so much better and whatnot, I thought like, huh, I have that game in my library, maybe I should check out like what was the thing that wasn't like letting it launch. Uh, so I re-downloaded it and it just works now. It just works now. It's so, so cool, I guess. So we're playing that. So we're playing that now. <laughs> so we're playing Dragon Stop. I'm just, I'm just launching the game, give me a second. <laughs> and I should... Fucking stop the music. There we go. Now I've never played this game, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty blind. I'm going in pretty blind. I don't really know anything about it. Uh, I just kind of like set up the, you know, the Dragon's the options. Dogma two apparently calls you out for being a furry if you use your beast <laughs> pawns. From what I heard. Oh, that's fucking great. Oh, that's amazing. That is fucking good. I, I just heard that Dragon's Dogma 2 is like a fucking nightmare when it comes to like microtransactions and shit. And a lot of people are just complaining that it doesn't live up to the original, which like came out fucking years ago. I don't even know how long ago. But yes, I'm going in pretty blind. Is is the volume alright? Because it feels like a little bit uh, a little bit high for me. Like the, the volume of the game, but I don't know. I don't know if that's just my own 
audio. Imagine using the only the beast pawns couldn't be me. I have no idea what the fucking pawns are. There was like whenever I was setting up this fucking game, uh, there was this option that I had to go asking my friends in Discord about, like about fucking main pawn online access and connectivity. And I was like, oh wait, is this game gonna have like fucking invasions like Dark Souls? Is, it, is are people gonna fucking invade my world and shit? But but no, apparently it's just like. Some something about like lending lending NPCs from one another and whatnot, like borrowing NPCs. I don't know. Kind of weird. Not sure how any of that plays out, because again, I don't know it's shit about the game. Horribly optimized. It claims my PC isn't strong enough even on mid settings. Meanwhile, everything else made recently runs just fine even on max. Yeah, it's it's so weird, because like I swear, someone someone gifted me this game like a couple of years ago. Whenever I was whenever I started streaming, someone gifted me this game. And I, I couldn't get it to run, like it just, it would just fucking crash on launch. And I tried to search in the forums at the time, like what the fuck was going, what was going on, and there was no clear answer. And I just kind of gave up on it and forgot about it. <laughs> but anyways, let's just start a new game. Let's see what this, this game's all about. I want to see what all the fuss is about because I see a lot of people really play, praising this game while complaining about the new one, and I want to know what it's all about. Another place in another life, another child of man blazes your path. How dark it's got. Have you a light source? Using a lantern will hold darkness in bay at bay. Press back to your oh, Jesus Christ, what is what is this? I'm already overwhelmed. <laughs> Honestly, this game doesn't even look half bad. It's not nineteen ninety-eight anymore. It's not about collecting cream corn and childish platforming. Now it's all DLC and microtransactions. <laughs> and do you want a chicken nugget? The dragon's roost is just beyond. Uh, press pause to check your attributes. What was that? You don't get to make your own character. You just get given like this fucking like default ass boy. That's kind of kind of shit. Not gonna lie. Where were my oh is this my attributes? Defensive statuses, defenses, skills, conditions. Oh, you grab with right trigger. What the fuck? We all want to check out your I'm, attributes. I'm trying to grab the thing. Wait, grab and pick up are two different things. What the fuck is grab then? Um, do do I do I hug people when I grab them? <gasps> oh my god! It it actually is that. Oh, that's funny. Oh, and who's this guy? Saldy. We all want to check out. It's got the. You're basic the bland from the land of <laughs> the faulty. <laughs> oh my, my fucking god. Also. Hold to block, okay. Oh, oh no, this is just like Dark Souls 1. You're kind of like fucking locked to one direction Might be a while slight blocking. Spoiler, but you're in a backstory prologue section. Don't worry, that isn't your actual character. Okay, that's good to know. I was kind of suspecting that, but it's good to know. Oh wow, it's a dragon! He's the dogma! Oh no, not a goblin! I mean, I was worried about the dragon, but like, not a goblin! <laughs> Where's Kiki? I don't know! I don't know where Kiki is. Uh, she's probably doing something important. She's probably just doing stuff. I don't like pestering Kiki with like, Hey, you know, I'm about to stream. Like, no, no, no. if she wants to come, she will come. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like to be an annoyance. Is this a rift? What the fuck did I say? 
Who are these? What is this? See progress in your adventure spawns will provide you with useful. Oh my god, everyone's talking at once. <laughs> See progress in your adventures. Okay. So it's kind of like your party, but your party is dynamic. You don't you don't get to like build one party and just stick with that one. Is our valor pit against the worm's evil? Uh, issue basic orders to your pawn allies. Be wary. Careful. A goblin. Well. Okay, go. Attacking while holding will perform a weapon skill. I don't think I ever equipped a fucking weapon or anything. Tools, special, curatives. I don't have any weapons. Do I? Oh, wait, no, never mind, I do. <laughs> oh my god, I can grab the goblins. How the fuck do I attack? Oh. I thought you attacked with the triggers, but I forget there's like, there's literally a button display on behind me that you can't see, and I forget that it's there. <laughs> I should like read it. Scorps was an expression of sheer terror. All right. All right, so light attack and heavy attack. Okay, that's interesting. And left trigger is sheath. Okay. <laughs> certified goblin hugger. I am. I am a certified goblin connoisseur. Stay ever ready as we advance. Are there no other survivors? Come, master. Press right trigger to pick up items and whatnot. Okay, we've kind of gone over that. Wait, Wait a second, Coco. I was just about to launch Dark Souls 2, and it shows friends' achievements. Why is the only Covenant achievement you have the Company of Champions? Please tell me you weren't playing the game on hard mode from the start. I have no idea. What the fuck? There are no difficulties in Dark Souls. What the fuck do you mean? You don't pick like hard mode? What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? No uh, find your bearing by consulting the map on the lower left of the corner of the screen. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I don't know. I don't know shit about Dark Souls 2. I kind of gave up on it really early on. Oh, wow, it's Manticore! You can dash by clicking left. Left stick. Oh my god, I hate these. I hate this control. This control scheme. A survivor! Some harpies, okay, it's cool. Oh, I see now. Like when holding the the bumpers and attacking, you perform a weapon skill. Oh shit! What what was that? Who's shooting fucking lightning at me? Okay, there's an explanation for that. It's not hard mode per se. That's... That Covenant buffs every enemy in the game and debuffs you. It's very much playing the game on hard mode. That might be why you had so much trouble. Oh. Well, I had no fucking idea about that. I had no clue. How was I supposed to know that? Oh, shit. I forgot this is not Dark Souls. I was trying to jump with the fucking stick. <laughs> I can I can launch fucking flammable barrels. Oh well, well I throw things like a fucking wuss, so that didn't help much. And how do I just fucking drop down? Is there a way to target enemies? Am I missing something here? I gave up on the Dark Souls games on the first one. <laughs> I really like the first one. That's like the, the worst part. I really like Dark Souls 1, but I kind of just didn't get into Dark Souls 2. What the fuck? What was that? Man, this really is like 
bringing me back to the age where video games would do tutorials like this. And it makes me appreciate that we don't do this anymore. What are you doing? What is this with those like fucking Skyrim slow motion camera thingies? Like. There's also Skull, but I'm more of an Elden, Elder Scrolls guy. I mean, that's fair. It's fair. I, I did. I do also like Skyrim. Although I've never actually played like Morrowind or Daggerfall or Oblivion. I tried, I tried Oblivion a little bit, but didn't like it that much. Our goal is ahead. Arisen! This way, sir! The worm awaits beyond, sir. I should be proud to guide you. Close by, Arisen. we hidden away Stay here. Ever ready for fear of the beasts all around. My god, they're all talking. Arisen! This way, sir! Alright. We cannot suffer the worm to work any further at all. Shut up, Perfect. everyone! Oh my god! This tutorial that was integrated so <laughs> well into the game that most players never even sense. noticed they were being tutorialed. Yeah, exactly. It's like Half-Life 2 and Portal also. Portal also had all that. It was pretty cool. I'll, even even I would go as far as to say that Helgen isn't that bad in Skyrim. Like Helgen is definitely a tutorial zone, but it's really not even that bad. Oh wow! Oh shit! It's spitting poison. Oh my god, I can climb enemies? What? That is so fucking cool! Oh my god, I love this! <gasps> you can- you can dynamically fucking cut off parts of enemies? That is so cool! Holy shit! That is so poggers, guys! Chimera, not a manticore? I swear this is a manticore, but but maybe I'm wrong. I, I could be wrong. Is there a way for me to dodge other than just sprinting? liking those slow-mo dynamic camera angles they kind of suck not gonna lie but oh shit Saying they're gonna hold it, but no one does. <laughs> Hello? What is happening? I'm kind of stuck. Okay, the combat. The combat is pretty cool. The combat is cool. A wounded lion is still a lion. <laughs> I mean, true that. Also, amazing camera clipping through the floor. Pretty cool. Pretty poggers. Now choose, flee, or what? step forth. Is that the dragon? Lies beyond. Claim mastery over the eternal. <gasps> We're gonna get the Elden Ring. We're gonna become Elden Lord as well. Here too. Can I marry Rani again? <laughs> A countless lifetimes come to pass. And countless lifetimes come to pass. Yeah. Alright. 
Oh my god, it's speaking French. No. Not French. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> Suddenly Zelda music be <laughs> Oh my god. More harpies. Wow. Suddenly the game got real quiet. He's pulling his cock out. No. <laughs> you wake up in the temple of crime. Oh my god, not again. Not again, please. <laughs> He's just falling. He's just falling. The like, fucking giant hole opened up in the sky. And there's just this giant dragon is falling from it. Amazing. It looks like he was just fucking sleeping. My god, I love fucking video compression video compression in my cutscenes. I love it so much. And massive screen tearing as well. I love that too. I love the screen tearing. It's such a such a good detail. I don't think I don't think you guys can see it. <laughs> I don't think you guys can see whenever I get screen tearing, but it, it was a while. It was very bad. It was very bad screen tearing. Oh, so we can be guy or gal. Can we be anything else? It's just just humans. We can just be humans. It's kind of kind of lame. Not gonna lie. Okay. Wait, what? I, I'm trying to press... Trying to press... There it is. Okay, that's my name. I'm pressing gay! Fucking hell! Your moniker will display for players with parental control enabled. Um... I mean, I doubt there's gonna be Coco, but there's Choco, so... <laughs> Mm. Cirrus. Well, oh my god, no way. They do actually have a cocoa. Holy shit. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Amazing. Now, build. What is this? So that's the base body. Okay, so this is aesthetic. Merely aesthetic. Cool. Hmm. I don't know. Kind of digging this one. Hugo man and his Japanese wife woman. Oh no. That is awful. Honestly, either the base body, this one, or like... Eh, let's go with this one, sure. Was there anything else I needed to check here? View poses, what is that? Oh, okay. Select the voice. What the fuck? <laughs> what are these? Yeah, this is this, this seems alright. How do I how do I make myself smaller? This character is too tall. It's actually taller than me. Make more detailed edits. Edit body. Mm, stature. There it is. So I'm like... I guess there's no there's no in between. So this is this is closer to what my actual height. There we go. Let's go with uh, let's go with something in between. Sure. Skin color. I don't want to spend like way too much time here on bus size large. Amazing. There we go. Whoa, what's this? Kind of weird. 
is a weird character. What the fuck are these bodies? I swear. <laughs> we can handle too much, too much time, not way too much time. <laughs> Imagine her sounding like Doris from Shrek 2. No. Seriously, we need fucking arm length. Fucking. Okay, I guess. Cool. Stands. Okay. Imposing. <laughs> no. It's literally fucking virgin and chad memes. Oh no. What is this? Fucking... Do you want to fucking do the virgin walk or do you want to do the chad stride? <laughs> oh my god. Lady like or much what is I I fucking swear I fucking swear I s th 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 Who is making these games who's making and, and lady like of course lady like fucking just has your arms clipping through your body amazing you Just have to be like fucking you have to be like in Skyrim where everyone just walks around being a being a manly dude Let's just do in between as always. Uh, I don't like the hips. The hips of my character are kind of weird. It's either no hips or like fucking wide ass hips. Jesus Christ! What are these options? I hate. I hate all of these options. <laughs> they are all terrible. Holy fuck! Um. All right, let's let's see the head. Reset faces. All right. I mean, the game itself doesn't look terrible. Just the fucking character character options and whatnot are kind of weird. Her hips are just her pelvis, <laughs> pretty much. Just the hip bone. It's just that. It's just the fucking hip bone. <laughs> That's it. Hairstyle. All right. Let's see if there's. Something. There's there's never curly hair. There's never long curly hair. I am always discriminated against by video games. There's never fucking hair that, hair that looks like mine. The only curly hair are fucking afros every single time. Every single fucking time. I mean, I guess this is the closest. The closest thing. I don't really have that, like, uh, those bangs. I don't have the bangs, but I, I, I guess it's fine. Face shape. Hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, I was looking for a more rounded face, but... No. Nah, I'm just gonna leave it as, as is. Whatever. All right, like those eyes, sure. Brows. Some thick eyebrows, like I do have. Let's go. I don't kind of have like a very straight nose, so maybe something like that. I mean, not that bad. Ah, actually, that kind of kind of does fit. Hmm. A little bit too slim. Actually, yeah, that looks fine. Sure, there's no collar here. All right, I guess. Uh, I mean, we can't even see the ears, so. Scars, wrinkles. Oh my god. No. Scars. I don't really have many scars, so I just remove them. Oh, we can just have no makeup. I was I was I was worried about I was worried that this is what all female characters were gonna look like. <laughs> oh it was gonna be like Skyrim all over again.
I mean, I don't know. Maybe I do want some a little bit of makeup, but Jesus Christ, it's like it's either no makeup or just like modern makeup in a fantasy setting, and I hate that. Ah, let's just go with the the light eyeshadow. That's fine. Hair color. There's really no in between these two. Okay, fucking cool, I guess. Oh, actually, that that's the color I was looking for. Perfect. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with that. Sure. And eye color. We want some. Not too dark. I mean, I'm not super pale, but I don't think I'm like... I don't know. I don't, I'm not finding... Oh my god, I can just be like fucking gray. I can be green. Oh my god, uh, this, this is just... Why? Why even put this option? <laughs> why? Actually, those are a little bit closer to my actual skin color. A little bit more yellowish. Honestly, this one's fine. All right. I think that's that's fine. I don't want to spend like way too much more time on this. Uh, I think basic information. Uh, Coco, moniker, Coco. Email type five voice. I'm, I'm 170 centimeters 170 centimeters high weight 56 what the fuck that is such a lie that is such a lie someone with this body build like would not weigh 56 kilograms like what the fuck is this lie that is such a fucking made up bullshit <laughs> fine i'm not gonna i'm not gonna argue sure yes i'm ready to play let's go Ever heard of the Jawn palette? It's a palette of colors consisting of only black, white, red, and yellow. You'd be surprised how Ooh. many amazing paintings were made using only those four colors. Honestly, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh my god, the stuttering. I'm just a dirty peasant. I'm just a humble, poor peasant, scraping by. Hear ye, hear ye! <laughs> the prophets have spoken, friends. The dragon's return is nigh. <laughs> Join the honorable duke's ranks and help us be rid of the foul beast. The days come to lay down rod and reel and take up the sword. Red <laughs> rod and reel? What? Oh, hi, person. Hey. Fishing, raw and real. Oh, that's what it means. Okay. <laughs> I had no idea what that meant. Brother, really the wild ass cutscene. No. It's, nah, it's this, the dragon. These, these cutscenes, man. Like, I can't. I can't take these, uh, these fucking cutscenes seriously. <laughs> Why is everyone's walk animation so fucking weird? I don't know what it is, but like, they look weird. <laughs> Everyone walks so funny. <laughs> Oh no! And then you die. The police make a new character. <laughs> he has the Elden Ring! I saw it! I saw it on his chest! imagine how fucking poorly optimized this was when it came out because like we're running this shit on hardware that's like 10 years ahead of <laughs> 10 years 
in the future of when this came out, and it's still fucking struggling to play the cutscene properly. God damn. I forget that this was made in the in the dark age of PC ports. Wait, I'm, I'm expect to just fucking fight the dragon? I don't think I'm gonna be able to just fight the dragon. But I'll give it a shot, sure. Oh my god. I'm fucking poking his, his knees. God, that was so bad. Stab is nuts. <laughs> oh, he mad now. R.I.P. Literally. What? He's speaking French. He got a splinter from his prison. What the fuck? He's stealing my heart. No. Fucking thief! How dare you steal my steal my heart like that? How the fuck am I still alive? Are you accidentally in French? <laughs> I'm just joking. He he's speaking in tongues or something. He was alone, French conquerors. Those goddamn French. I couldn't live. <laughs> yeah, I could survive that. Yeah, I could. I could get through that. Sure, why not? How like fucking easy? Just, just, just. You know, they take away your heart. Just don't die. Just fucking easy. Help me! She's still alive. Somehow. And now I have a big old scar on my boob. Remember, guys, the heart is stored in the boob. <laughs> boob scares. Boob jump scares. Finally, you're awake. <laughs> I can listen to the dragon in my mind. We have a connection because he has my heart. Is this going to be a love story? What does the dragon curse you when you kill it? You die too. I mean, honestly, that would make sense. That would be that would be a, a neat plot point or something. It's time for you to begin your journey as a risen. How fucking long are we into this game? We're like forty minutes into this fucking game, and we're finally starting to be able to play. <laughs> it's time for you to begin your journey as a risen. But before you can win your heart back from the dragon, you will need to prepare. All right. Exam. Your vocation determines your basic attributes, willable equipment, and skills. So, fighter, strider, mage. Okay, obviously not mage. 
obviously not Mitch, because we're not gay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, a melee specialist with attacks and counter attacks to be able to cut through any resistance. The nimble warrior can both mount and attack foes and use bow to strike from afar. So this is like the all-rounder. This is like your, your ranger archetype, I guess. Only the French become mages. Only the French are mages. So true. So real. Mm. It's primary weapon, daggers and bows. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty pretty archetypical, you know. So like knight, rogue and mage. Cool. So let's go find her. Fuck it. Yes. You can equip yourself with a primary and secondary weapon. Primary weapons such as swords and daggers are combat essential. Secondary weapons like bows and shields are... Offer support. Okay. Take water. Had you an empty flask, you might fill it here. All right. What? Why is this happening? I don't fucking know. Wait, I I need to check something here in like video settings. What if we just? Do V-Sync, is that gonna help? Because sometimes I just turn V-Sync off because it creates a bunch of problems with streaming, but sometimes you just kind of need to enable it because, God, yeah, the, the fucking screen tearing was too bad. But then I get, like, fucking frame drops like that. Oh my God, what are those fucking frame drops? This is a game from God knows how long ago. <laughs> Why is it struggling this fucking bad? Scar? Yes. The wound has closed, and it seems the worst has passed, but her heart lies silent. He stole it! If you would face me. You are sure of this? Yes. Ill magic, the work of some curse. The whole world's already gone mad for fear of this dragon. Won't no good come of this. I must go see to we have to kill her. <laughs> Tell me if all changes here. All right. <laughs> I was listening the whole time. Now I'm gonna kill you. Defeating foes and completing quests earns you experience and each level gain that raises all your attributes. Cool. Press start to bring up the pause menu where you can check your attributes, full map, quest information, and more. My god, the UI on this is really not great, but alright. You should be a bed. I wish you would not strain yourself so. I am worried for you, cuz. Cuz? Are we cousins? Is that the is that why we're like exchanging looks? Before the dragon attack? The chief says your injury could be a curse from the dragon. I mean, yeah. It's if free. so, that's not something I know how to heal. But there must be a way. Easy, we have to kill the dragon. Ooh, clot simulations. Wow, how fancy. More flasks of water? Sure. Let's grab all the things. Alright, so what now? Do I just leave? She looked like a snake. <laughs> oh no. Don't be mean. Don't be mean to the ugly NPCs. It's not their fault that they're fucking ugly. <laughs> People who bear an icon above their head possess special information. As opposed to regular information. Smitens can be combined with others in order to produce surprising results. Experiment and see what you come up with. Oh no, is this gonna be like Resident Evil 4 where you have to combine herbs in order to make healing things? In interventive? What? Carrots? 
I'll take those. Thank you. And a bucket. And a broom. Sure, why not? I'm sure a broom will come in handy some sometime. <laughs> Hello, Teddy. How you doing? Coco, try using grab near an NPC. I've already done that, yes. It's, it's very funny. You could raise your affinity with people by giving them items or completing the quest they ask of you. Performing actions that people dislike will decrease their affinity for you. Oh, it's gonna be one of those. There's gonna be like reputations and whatnot. God damn it. <laughs> them beasts will burn the whole world up, way I see it. Save someone can stop them. Wow, that was very insightful. Burn the whole world up. For some reason, like this, this character felt like he was gonna say something important. I don't know. All right, let's see. What do we have across all of these things? Green wash and Mithri Day. Type of herb that grows throughout. Consume to purge the body of poisons. Consume to recover a bit of health. Cures most physical debilitations. Alright. Flask of water, flask of oil, and a lantern. Cloud, Cloud wine. Will make up other can easily catch flames, combine it with other materials to produce uh, aught of use. Simple water pail, simple sweeping tool, no weapons. Set of uh, fisherman tatters. Why can I? Why can I not wear them? How do I equip them? Move to equipment. Oh my god, there's a separate screen for the, the things that you can't equip. Why? Oh my god. Why? Why do, why do we need separate screens for that? Why did we need a separate screen? Oh. I'd craft dressings for the wounded had I the makings. If only I'd known. Cuz I need a favor. Okay. Can you fetch the flowers I need from outside the village? God damn it. I need more of the one you see there. And one other sort besides. The more you can find, the better. All right. Available quest changes as you progress through the game. Additionally, you can always consult the quest sections in the pause menu. Oh my god. Ugh. I hate when games do this. Hate it so much. <laughs> also, all stall. Thank you for the for the thank you for the bits. Appreciate it. People with red icons appearing over their hands have information relevant to priority quest. You have several quests ongoing. Same time, you can see the ones that is priority in the quest sections in the post menu. Doing so will make. All people, places, and things relevant to the priority quest appear predominantly on your minimap. Okay. So, where's the flowers that I need? God fucking damn it, stop with the goddamn text pop ups. I hate this. <laughs> Accepting quest first note. Uh, How are you doing, Coco? I'm trying to S rank all the very hard stages in 06. I Damn. hate it so much, Lamau. Why are you torturing yourself again? Like, you, you've been doing this with all the Sonic games. <laughs> stop it. Stop Stop doing this to yourself, please. But I'm doing alright. I'm doing alright. Trying out this game, trying out Dragon's Dogma. And god damn it, the fucking tutorialization is just awful. It's just so fucking bad. The tutorials, I hate it. And continue by searching the required items for information. 
quest markers will vary based on time, location, and your target's location. If you come to impasse in one quest, why not try progressing through another? You might find a solution to your initial problem. That is like the stupidest fucking advice ever. But fine. No. I need to know where the fuck are the flowers this person is looking for. And I see nothing. A wound did need medicine, cousin. Pray bring the flowers for the mixture calls for two types of flowers. Speak to the others for more word on that. I ask you what? because I trust you, good fisher. I know you. What do you mean, talk to the others? Like, why can't you just fucking tell me which flowers you need? Can't go near the water for fear of monsters? Best you watch yourself. My goodness. Purchase equipment and useful items or shops. Oh my fucking. I wonder if mentions you encounter on your travels. Holy fucking shit, I. I these fucking text pop ups, I swear. Where the fuck are the flowers I need to find? She's back! Make her be praised, she's back! <laughs> All right. Uh, what's this like? A temple? A village chapel? Okay. Where do the curing flowers grow? Yes. Hmm. Have you had a look by the shore? Oh my god. If not God. now, by night perhaps? I recall seeing some. The eve of the last full moon. Oh my god, they're not gonna appear until it's fucking nighttime. This is the first fucking quest. This is the first fucking quest. Holy shit. And it's. Uh, the I'm a completionist, so I want to finish a game 100% through. I rather play the Unleashed DLC, but I'm gonna get it over with. There's talk of monsters emerging from the shallows all along the sh nasty things too. The Bran, they call them. They say they're many, and yet one. Whatever that means. Seems this brine can be bested what's more. Hmm. Not to do, but avoid the water's edge. Okay. Well, I don't see nothing happening. And I don't see any flowers here. They really are just going to show up at night. And now the question is... How the fuck do I wait for night time? Ooh! Spicy mushroom tea. I just grabbed the fish. I don't have to actually kill them in order to grab them. What was that? I, I swear I saw an empty flask or something. A large nut? Well, I guess I need to find a bed, maybe, or something, in order to pass the day, so that I can come here at night. 
or something. A wounded need medicine cut. The mm. mixture calls for two types of I ask you this fate. All right, nothing new. Cool. Do I just do I just sleep in a bed or something? You can restore health and stamina and advance the passage of time at an inn or resting spot. Okay. Oh, hey, Benita has you picking flowers for her. Pray, just be cautious, cousin. The monsters grow bolder. Why are we all cousins? You must leave the village. Go prepared. I do right. not fancy the thought of you going off on your own, but I trust in your judgment. If you come by the inn, you can always rest until the hour you wish to set <laughs> out. In any case, take care. What can I do you for? I need 50 gold to rest, Jesus Christ. Why? You seem tired, cousin. Come rest a moment. So be it. Right, till nightfall. Nice. Where am I? Rest isn't necessary. I don't know. They said that the flowers only appeared on the shore at night. Or at least that was heavily alluded to. So I'm assuming I need to be at night. Where's my fucking lantern? The lantern actually uses oil. That is so fucked. Can't believe it. I'm stuck in the first fucking quest. Wait, that was another flask. Might as well grab it. Sure. And how do I see how much oil my lamp has left? Oh, I see now. Wait, no. No, that's just the weight of things I'm carrying. How the fuck do I know if my lantern needs oil or not? Anyways, I don't see any fucking flowers. Where the fuck am I supposed to go then? Tight flask. Oh, I guess that's how I know that my that my lamp needs oil now. And my lantern is still off. Cool. I've fucking lost. What do I do? Where do I get the flowers? Oh my god. What was that? Hmm. Alright, at the very least, this, this game does... The good thing of like not draining your stamina whenever you're just like hanging out in the in the hub, you know, in the in the city and whatnot. So you can just like run everywhere. It's 
no use at this hour. You'll have to come later. They're still here. Where do the curing flowers? Have you had a look by the shore? By the shore? If not now, by night perhaps? It is night. I recall seeing some. The eve of the last full moon. What? The eve of the last full moon? Do I actually have to wait on till, till the fucking eve of another full moon? The fuck does that mean? Should I just fucking skip this quest? Can I can I skip it or is this like a mandatory story quest? Here's my others. Oh, Here quests. Lord Delivery. Benita requires Sunbride and Moon Glow for her polities. First gather some sun bright and give it to her. Mm. Well, that doesn't help a lot. It did say something like view map, view on map. Well, delivery. Hmm. None of the quests in the start village are mandatory to my knowledge. Alright, then maybe we'll just fucking skip that then. Now, how do I leave? Because now the, the door is locked. Oh. Oh, shit. The fuck? What the fuck was that? The man you are speaking with. He's of the Pawn Legion. I haven't been speaking with anyone. What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> they come from some unknown place. Just appear without a warning. What? Fair strange lot. Not human okay. quite. They look the part, sure enough, but they lack the will. The spark what drives He's literally calling them NPCs. They have no capacity to feel <laughs> no, nor no. act alone. So they live as citizens. <gasps> oh no. There's an encampment west of the village where men gather to face the dragon. I'd wager a fair number of his kind will be there as well. Why don't you take him? Might you <laughs> learn out of why he came to you in the first place? All right, I guess. Before leaving, visit the store to make sure you've ample supplies. I don't. I don't know what supplies we would need, honestly, but. Just let's just leave. Let's just fuck off. We're not collect collecting flowers. Fuck it. To the encampment. This path should see us there. The game has. Oh my god! The fucking pop-ups. The game has an auto save function. Periodically save your progress throughout your adventure. You can also save manually anytime. Jesus fucking Christ! I know how video games work. Oh my god, there's goblins! Ouch. I know, we've already went through this! Holy shit, stop it with the fucking pop-ups! Oh my god, Resident Evil. Holy fucking shit, shut up, game! Fuck! Every single fucking minute, there's a new pop-up! Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> they receive the effects of curative magic except within the R area of the healing like Oh my fucking god! There! Are you happy now, game? Oh 
What the fuck is that ability? I'm just like... Oh my god, stop it! <laughs> yes, I, I really do feel that. I really do feel that way right now. Mega Man, Mega Man! Shut up! <laughs> Ah, oh, and again, when foes leave to fudge their head, I'll try to get you clothes or a better weapon. Shut up! I know how, what a fucking RPG is! Shut up! Oh my god! What the fuck does that even in do? Okay, that that is better. There's another wolf. Holy shit. Stop. Oh, that was far too close. I'm called Reynard, a traveling salesman, though those damnable beasts ruined my wares. Oh rip. But thanks to you, it was only wares I lost. I'll consider it a bargain. <laughs> my thanks. Yay. We got a hunk of ore. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god, I wanna kill myself. You may see battlers hogging their wares. Uh as you make your way around grand grand seas. They often come across rare items not found at any stationary shops. If you see a peddler, make sure you check what they have to offer. Oh my god. Okay. This road will have us to the encampment air much longer. Ooh, some mushrooms. I hear more goblins. This is probably because I travel at night, isn't it? Why is my walking animation so fucking weird? Finally, wow. We did it. We got to the place. If memory serves, I know the way, Master. Follow me. Who the fuck was talking to me? It's a stone. If you have forgotten what you are in the story, select Chronicle from the Post Media to review a story of your journey thus far. That's actually a good feature. It's pretty neat. The stone speaks to me. Can you hear our voice? No. <laughs> we speak to you from across great distance. The Horn Legion has awaited you. What? I can't hear you. It's cutting off. I'm going through a tunnel. Pray, forgive this strange and impersonal greeting. <laughs> this rift serves as a gate. It connects our kind to your world. It opens to the original. Okay. For they possess a will powerful enough to guide the Legion. If you would claim to be among the arisen, prove the strength of your resolve. I don't fucking know. I don't even know what an arisen is. Like, fine, I guess. Sure. Then we shall guide you in your sure, why not? The, the, I, I, I'm assuming the plot needs to me for me to say yes. <laughs> no 
The Arisen must possess the valor to stand against all threats and the power to quell them. A tireless spirit right. of self improvement grants the strength to lead the Legion. Greg, show him now. What? A wrist stone. A strange tax status. I don't get it. What was, what was the quest? Oh, he grabs stuff for you? That's pretty neat. My god, the game won't shut up about every single little bit of, like, given, like, fairly easily assume knowledge, but it won't actually tell me what the fuck to do here. Alas, you have yet to prove the temper of your spirit. What? Take heed of the trial before you, and go forth. If you would prove yourself the arisen, show no fear. Stand strong. What's the fucking trial? I don't get it. A wrist stone. Oh. oh, I just didn't, like, go to the pre-fucking, you know, God damn it. I didn't trigger the cutscene. That's what happened. I see. There may be prowling monsters about. Do I, do I need to go out? All ready for battle? What is this guy doing? There's something about what? What the fuck? They're bombarding you with information for the past hour and finally decides to shut up and does it so hard you feel you skipped the tutorial. <laughs> for real, what is happening? There was a cutscene and there were like a bunch of guards and then there's this guy like spassing out on his own telling me to do something about what? I don't know. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> Nothing is happening! You're on trial for stealing a heart to replace the ones you lost. Do something! I'm not even like pressing the button to talk with him. Do do I go out through this other door? You have to go up and activate the gate they ran to. How the what? I, I think something's happening. Oh wow, okay, so I just I just need to go to the other door and get out. Cool. My gun my goodness, it's a troll. Wow, he do be ugly. Ouch, that kind of fucking took half of my health. Let's fucking climb this bitch. I'm gonna stab you in the face. No! Ow. Ow, no, not the fire! Oh my god, I actually fucking died. Wow. <laughs> Try on easy mode. No. <clears throat> wow. What the fuck? That thing hits hard. I have such little health. Can I, can I skip the cutscene? Yes, I can. Thank god. I want to stab him in the eye. I want to do the thing.
trying to poke his eye, but like, it's hard to do it. Alright, he dead. Cool. Wow! First try. That was like, very epic. Oh my god, it's Gandalf. It was a close break, that. Let us return to the encampment. You guys suck. Everyone has armor and proper equipment, and I just have my fucking rags. Set out from here, and we'll be on the path to Grand Soren. Ekbel, located in the command headquarters of the encampment, provides many different support functions to our adventurers. Speak with him to rest and heal your wounds, learn and enable useful weapon skills or store excess items. Okay. Shall we search? Have all you need? Okay. We are an end first and foremost, but we offer more than we can safeguard your belongings. Okay, sure. And you like. Manage, learn or set skills. What can we learn? Sword, learn sword and maze weapon techniques. Cut a broad swath with the blade while falling back to avoid attacks. Lose a flurry of skyward slashes, well suited to bring in flying foes to the ground. Okay, that sounds useful actually. I kind of like the broad, the broad cut. Yes. And we have simple attack unleashes a barrage of strikes using the shield or strikes a blow with the shield that causes little damage but forces the target to drop their guard. Okay, cool. Kind of like a, it's like a shield bash. Okay, that's cool. Change your enabled skills. Yes. Where's my? Oh, okay. I see. Strike and broad cut and the shield. We can use shield strike and shield summons. Wraps the shield loudly to attract the attention of nearby foes. Oh, it's a taunt! That's what I was doing this whole fucking time, I see. What will it be today? Okay. Have your pick, and you like. Come again soon. Sure, discipline points can be spent to learn useful augments and skills. Skills and augments must be enabled in order to make use of them. Alright. So now, I can do this, this shield bash, okay. Or I can do the broad cut. And the blink strike. Alright, that's pretty neat. It's pretty neat, pretty neat. A With that, your trial wow! Isn't that, is, is that the banner of Scotland in the background? What the fuck? You are the originally truth. The flag, not banner, sorry. Mm -hmm. Now, I bid you select a companion for the journey ahead. They shall serve you and you alone to share in your hardships. Select a party member, nice. Oh my god, no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I have to make another fucking character? Are you shitting me? Oh my god. Fine. What's it gonna be? Um. Sure. <laughs> uh, there it is. Continue. God damn it, I don't want to spend like another hour making a character fucking hell. Why is there like a child here? I don't like I'm 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 worried about that. <laughs> Why are all these character options and then there's just like a child? 
My goodness. Very well, let's just grab whatever fucking... Alright, at the very least, let's try to make her look somewhat nice. Have to go up that way. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> Thought that wasn't the message. Never mind. Uh, do we have a bob cut or something like that? That will kind of be. I mean, that kind of fits. but like this character. God damn, the fucking options, I swear. <laughs> I don't understand why video games do that, where like half of the options for your character creation are just fucking terrible. So like, the real options end up just being like five different options and that's it. Build. I'm just gonna leave all of this as is. Because people like to build bad and ugly things. I, I've never really understood that. I see a lot of people like playing Dark Souls with god awful, like god awful looking characters, and I just don't get what, why, what's the point? Why do they go out of the out of their way to just make the most fucking awful character? We do not have pink. And this is kind of close, I guess. Like, th there's the red one, but like, I think that's a bit too over the top. So let's just go with that. A lot of them have played dozens of runs and do it to add some novelty to playing the same game again and again. I guess I guess I can understand that maybe but like I don't know I still don't get it because like a lot of them just do it like as their first character like their first character is just like a some, some fucking monstrosity with like green skin green green skin or something like that <laughs> Hey, we didn't change her eye color properly. She's got green eyes. And I guess that's fine. Nah, that's like... Do you have any green that doesn't look like... Fucking weird? Why 
I guess I guess that that's okay. Sure. We could make her emo. Well. Okay, that's fine. Sure. Confirm. There we go. Sure. Whatever. This will be the form of your main pawn. Proceed. Yes, continue. I don't care. <laughs> You'll be asked a few questions. Oh my god. Your answers will shape your pawn's inclinations. Okay, cool. Uh, when faced with danger, which trade would you most value in a follower? Oh, they're asking me, not them. Okay. I thought it was going to be like questions and how they would answer, but okay. Uh, careful preparation, quick thinking. Careful preparation, yes. While in battle, which strategy would you prefer your follower employ? Try to get the strongest four, call for reinforcements, kill all enemies. Hmm. I don't know. I actually don't know. Let's try to get the strongest foes, sure. Your follower rescues your party and turns the tide. Your follower rescues your party and turns the tide of the, the entire battle. What would you have them say? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> like, what kind of fucking question is this? <laughs> I mean, sure, let's have her be a little cocky. As a ruler, which gift would you pl would please you the most? Uh, the perfect spouse. <laughs> a majestic white steel. Oh my god. I hate this. Who wrote this? Oh my god. Find the perfect spouse, sure. Why not, I guess. Uh... Seems like a convoluted way to assign tactics on your pawn. It is. It, it, it really is. Let's, let's have her be a rogue. Let's have her be a rogue, sure. I am I am having too much fun just like shitting on this game for real. <laughs> oh wow. I do not is sworn to you, Arisen. I I was gonna say I do not like them being like fucking slaves and just calling them calling me master. I really don't like that. I don't I don't vibe with that. Who are all this, these people? Who are all of you? I've learned a oh my god, the pop-ups will never fucking end. <laughs> I've been recognized as a reason. You have been granted a loyal pawn to be your constant companion in your journey. I am the master of puppets. Oh my god. In addition to this main pawn, you may hire up to two other pawns to support you in your adventures. Different pawns have different strikes, so use support pawns to tailor your party to fit your current needs. Okay, cool. In addition to mining level and available skills, the pawns knowledge is another important part of creating an effective party. Jesus fucking Christ, pawns with a brilliant knowledge of quests or pawns can <laughs> provide helpful advice and battle strategies. Oh my fucking god. My god. Who are all these people? Pawn status can be determined by its icons, means a pawn is online, is a friend's pawn, is a pawn you've enlisted in the past. Can I help you? Um then I don't I know. You farewell. Hmm. I don't know, maybe we do need a mage or something. Ah, a master and his pawn. Oh my god. You'll be quite the force come the day you learn to fight as one. 
Mind you, that sure. is a skill better honed in practice than in the heat of mortal combat. <laughs> I can help in that regard, should you wish it. Oh, sure. Sure, sure, why not? The men of the Enlistment Corps never turn away the eager. We are ready to begin. Yay! Let me be clear from the outset. I'm a harsh master, whoever the pupil. You'll complete three forms of training in sequence. Each serves to hone a different quality. You'll need more than raw muscle here. If you find a task too difficult to manage, you might reconsider Oof. your party. Mm -hmm. There are other pawns here. You can choose among them if you care to. The first task is carrying freight. Hold a lot of them before my count ends. You're free to choose your company. But this is a task too great for just one person. Many hands lighten any load, as they say. Now, get to it. We'll begin as soon as you're prepared. Just what? give the word. Your task is to haul all of the freight before my count ends. Okay. How, how do I give the order? What the fuck? This is your main pawn, the companion you created has arisen and will forever act as your faithful servant. Where's the timer? Which one's missing? Enough. What? Well done. Oh, we did it. Okay, cool. With that vigor, and you'll make for a fine. I just had to move one. Okay, cool. How the fuck did my pawns did like? The other th three so quickly? What the fuck? I don't know. Is combat <laughs> okay. You'll face my scarecrow army. <gasps> Scarecrows? Before my count ends. A large group will be of help again, but you must choose your companions wisely. <gasps> a company all doing the same thing is less effective than using a varied approach. Choose well. We'll begin as soon as you're prepared. You'll set them out destroying scarecrows this time. Them all before the count ends. Where's the other ones? Sword, we're missing one. We have triumphed. All right. Find trials. <laughs> Those skip the pop-ups like a certain grumpy gamer. Oh no! <laughs> I'm trying not to skip them, but holy shit, there's so many. There's, there's so many, so fucking many pop-ups. I hate them. <laughs> well done. Meet each challenge with that vigor, and you'll make for a fine warrior before long. Time is on trial. <laughs> right then. Finally, you'll be destroying more scarecrows. But don't expect a repeat of the last. There are two sure? sorts of scarecrow, each with its own weakness. One falls only to steel and brute force, the other only to magic. If you're not mindful of how you attack them, you'll fail. Strike fast and strike hard. Very okay, your hey, okay. party and your tactic will begin as well. It's back. Yes, where are they? Okay, now these ones. But how how do I make them like? How how do I make it so the mage attacks the ones that are weak to magic? What? Oh, there's another one. There's there's others over here. Oh, 
strength in numbers arisen. Enough! Did we do it? That's the fastest I've ever seen. Wow, well, we and did it. First try. Well done. You've completed your We are so special. Difference well selected partners can make. Yes, no doubt, no doubt. Oh my god. You'll learn the rest from actual combat. If you have trouble, examine your part. Actual two fucking hour tutorial. Like, I cannot believe this. If your strategy seemed too the less against your post, try and change your party makeup. Uh, bad skills and equipment. Sure. Try navigating through Pokemon's sleep UI. It always wants to load some update window when you want to collect berries for Snorlax. Oh, that sucks. All right. So, do we do we just leave here? The training grounds are used to instruct the men of the core in It's closed. We'll be easier Seems going. Seems we need dispensation this to pass. Now. I am Mercedes. You? I lead the men of the enlistment core. I've heard talk of the Arisen. They say you hold dominion over the pawns. I've ordered pawns to take up swords mm -hmm. and fight myself. But they are a clumsy lot. <laughs> I cannot call them into this world as you do, though. Nor make traveling companions of them. What manner of magic lets you command them so? Uh, I don't know. Fucking dragon stole my heart or something. The dragon is come. I'll welcome any help. Be it pawn, arisen, farmer or fishwife. Make use of the encampment as you please. Are you in need of rest? Uh, not now. Come again whenever you do. Sure, sure, sure. What's that? So, how the fuck do I change my my party composition? Like, how do I tell this guy that I that I don't want him, and and change him around or something? Because there's Alice. Uh, oh, this is like someone's actual fucking character. I don't think we even have enough like resources. Back to Cassidy's arisen. Tis a fair notion. Oh, there. Been some time, hasn't it? Enough time to become well famous in your case. We literally met last met last night. Is the second coming of Duke Dragon's Bane, I dare say. I... Now, let us talk of business. Alright, sure. What do you have? Large nuts. Flasks of oil. Sure, let me let me get those. Tools, weapons, trusty sword. Seems to be actually better than my current sword, so. Or, or actually I don't know I don't know if this game is gonna be like throwing loot at my at me every now and then so all right all right let's let's just swap it do I have to change my skills again or something I don't think so hemp shirt bandages linen shirt A shoulder cape? Well. Hmm. We could use like a leather chest guard or something, but I don't know. We'll now, just leave it at that. Let's talk of business. You never mind. Totally never Totally need to play this game again. Last time I modeled my player plus pawn of Zelda and Link. <laughs> ah, that's cute. That's fine. I've never actually played it. This is like the first time I played it. I've had this game on my Steam library for fucking years, but I just never, never did play it. When, when I tried to play it all those years ago, I couldn't get it to run for some reason. <laughs> but But now it just worked, so that's cool. And I wanted to see what all the fuzz was about with like the second one coming out and everyone being like super disappointed with it. Oh. Well, 
Oh my god, it's the people from Final Fantasy XIV. It will be easier going, searching in this area now. Bro, what are you doing? You can't just go around fucking smacking pots. So, what was that cutscene? Hello. Can I help you? Oh, this one we can just enlist, sure. I am honored to travel with you. Consult the history in the pawns menu to be a record of all the pawns you've employed. My god, the pop-ups, they never end. Now, where do we get? I guess this is the only quest around. The core will remain here a while. Once more men have gathered, we'll leave for the capital. Until then, you're free to use our lodgings. Will you rest? I mean, sure, why not? Repose is the better part of readiness. It is the weirdest game. Yeah, it's a Japanese company doing an American style action RPG. Honestly, that actually does make it make a lot more sense. Just throwing every strange idea with a very confusing story. I kind of love it. It is funny. Like I am, I am enjoying it for the most part. The tu the tutorialization is just fucking terrible, but I am enjoying it for the most part so far. Even though I've barely played, because this is all just a big tutorial. <laughs> This has been like a two hour tutorial. <laughs> but I do like the combat, and I do like the fact that you can climb on enemies, that is pretty cool. And like managing your party, it's like sure. I've seen it I've seen it done a little bit better, but like the whole managing your party, like maybe it's just because I'm just getting started with it. Can I cut one of the heads from here, or...? Oh, shit. Ouch. What the fuck? Wow. Okay, that's, that's impressive. That is impressive, not gonna lie. Oh my god. gonna be the best course of action here. I might not be I'm they not hitting them? Are these hits like not counting or something? Oh wow. Epic boss fight. <laughs> I also think it's better the second time through once you know oh, what you're supposed to do and how to quickly put together a fun party. Yeah probably. That does kind of remind me of Dark Souls in a way. Dark Souls is definitely better the second time around. <laughs> I am impressed. Oh, be damned. I was just like barely climbing the thing and it just like ended. What the fuck happened? Oh, what did the lack of an idol doing here anyway? Ancient tales of the Arisen are well and good for it. But make a gift of these heads to the Duke. And you might earn yourself a real title. <laughs> that was one big alligator. That was one big snack. I see better now from whence the legends arose. It's been a day. What fucking legends are you all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. In any case, the Duke will want to know of this attack. I'd hoped to gather a larger force before leaving for the capital. But the Hydra's head and the Orison who claimed it make up the difference amply. I cannot say what the past may hold. You will need your strength. <laughs> I think you accidentally got to just the right spot. Yeah, that boss fight ends when you do enough damage to one neck. Oh, that's probably what happened then. <laughs> we'll be slow going with the cart. I dare say you'll have no trouble catching up. Sure. We'll meet at the Way Castle. 
Till then, I bid you rest well. It is a long road ahead. Well, thank you, Mercedes. The Legends of Zelda. Oh, no. <laughs> Mercedes has taken the Hydra head to offer his tribute to the Duke, head for the mountain Wayne Castle, and help her escort it. Well, alright. Now, what do we have? Your rugged tusks, small fangs, a kindling, nice. Spicy mushroom tea. Cures those frozen solid, oh my god. You can get fucking frozen. So where do we have to meet this girl? I, I do not understand pretty well where the fuck I needed to go. Is that purple thing the place where I need to go? Sandry's the encampment. Feels like a single player MMORPG sometimes. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is the, the, the quest that I need. How do I... How do I abandon quests? Alright, so we need to go up north then. That terrible creature. I saw it from my spot at the post. What was it? It was a big snake. It's been dispatched then? <laughs> Thank the maker. Uh, hold a moment. Is Kina not with you? She was said to lead the village in search of art for your wounds. I thought you accompanied her. Foxy, hello. How you doing? These are dark times for a girl alone in the wilds. Any idea where she might be off to? It's a fun game. I hope. <laughs> fun little game. I hope you're enjoying it. I mean, I'm having... I'm struggling to get past the fucking, like, two-hour tutorial. Because holy fucking shit, just let me play the game already, please. <laughs> but, but I am enjoying it for the most part, yes. <laughs> a new area... A new area has been unlocked. Visit the Cassandra Pier died if you would like to see it for yourself. We'll need Kina's help for this. Let's ask at the village. I don't know who Kina is. What are you all talking about? We're nearing the tail end of the stream, and we're still in the tutorial. Like, actually, for real, not even joking. <laughs> Queen, you know, get your obviously one of the designated love interests put back to the village. Oh, there's the. Oh, it's one. It's a fucking love interest in PC, I see. Okay. Like, I, I still. I'm kind of confused then. Where do I go? Do I go back to like the village? Or do I keep on going up north to find uh to find her How do I manage quests? You have accept multiple quests, you can set one as your priority quest. That's what I wanna do, yes. Doing so will make all people, places and things uh from thousand your Party will also offer advice for the priority quest. Sure. Okay. Floral delivery. How do I abandon this quest? Can I abandon it? Probably not. So let's just let's just mark this one as the the primary quest. This encampment serves as a fine bulwark against monsters. We must protect the orcs at all costs. Shall we hire a how do, how do I grab this? Can I break it? Oh. oh I thought it was gonna be like mining for minerals or something like that. <laughs> you go to the dragon and you twist his nuts. <laughs> Literally just how you start the DLC. Oh okay, okay, I see. Yeah, because cause this is like the Dark Arisen version on Steam, which as far as I understand it's like a re-release and re like fucking repackaging of the whole thing. With some DLC attached. 
Can you get down here, please? I like that I can be a melee character and get like buffs, you know, to to do fire damage and ice damage and whatnot from my party members. It's pretty cool. Forget to grab the things. <laughs> Forget that I actually need to grab shit. <laughs> I like the pawn AI is pretty good. There's a lot behind the scenes uh, stuff to make actions it'll say to take two. That is pretty neat. Pretty neat. What the? F what are they attacking? What is happening? Oh, they're attacking the wolves. I see. <laughs> But yeah, this is this is not the worst AI for companions I've seen. The worst AI for companions I've seen in my life, in my like fucking god knows how many years of playing video games, was Lord of the Rings: War of the North. Like holy fucking shit, that was bad. They never did anything useful. They just got in the fucking way. And they would make you lose the missions because they would constantly keep fucking dying and you would have to go and revive them and shit. It was awful. It was god awful. And it didn't matter that you were playing like co-op because it was a game that me and my brother were playing. But there was like a third character, so the third character had to be an NPC. And we just, we just raged at the fucking NPC. <laughs> We just fucking rage because we had to repeat missions over and over because of them. It was awful. It was really bad. Oh, I thought they were bandits. Never mind. You play this every class and they're all viable. I am a bunk connoisseur. I do not play as mages. I do not play as archers. I play as a bunk. As a bunker. I bonk the things, I get big hammers, big swords, and that's it. Every game. Every video game. <laughs> the only exception was World of Warcraft, where I kinda did play a bit of everything, but even then, I usually prefer the melee classes. <laughs> I think I lost the road. Where's the... Oh my god. No, they hold the advantage. Ah, oh, that's pretty neat. I shall restore your health. Well, wow. hold on. All right, please, no more wolves. Holy shit! I'll heal your wounds. Any time. We could be ambushed. Stay alert. <laughs> We're gonna get ambushed by fucking wolves for the fifth time. This is just like getting out of hell. You know? <laughs> Not much on spoiler policy, so I won't elaborate on classes. But I do love the system. I don't mind mechanics spoilers, <laughs> I guess. Uh, I do mind sp story spoilers. Those are the ones I really don't like. Are these enemies? I can never tell. Okay, that guy just fucking threw themselves off a bridge. Cool.
face. I, I don't mind spoilers that are like. Collect the skins, increase your smithing perks, and Ooh. turn the skins into leather armor. That's a good example of spoilers I don't mind, you know? Like. <laughs> things that are gonna be useful to know in the long run or something. What the fuck? Yeah, just being like, hey, you know, you can you can level up, you know, this skill, or you can end up doing this if you do that, you know. That is fine. My god, how many fucking bandits are there? Counter after they strike. They're not just any kind of bandits, they're booty bandits. <laughs> oh no. Alright, let's keep on moving before more bandits arrive. Even more bandits. Who are you? Hello. Yes, Arisen. Milky. <laughs> Who's Milky? Who made their character, who made their pawn be named Milky? <laughs> I pray the day monsters no longer haunt the roads is not far off. The sea is closer than I'd imagined. The road splits here. Let's be doubly sure of which will see us to our destination. Okay, that's a, that's a good point, actually. It doesn't split. What are you talking about? Oh, they're talking about that road over there. Okay, I see. <laughs> All right, that's kind of. I like that. There, there, there's the 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 AI is pretty pretty dynamic. Follow this road north, and we'll hit Grand Soren. The stone makes a regrettably mm. effective wall. There we go. I trust you rested well, given the hour. <laughs> Arose late this day. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm here in time. You're still here outside. What do you mean? Like as not, the cart will draw beasts along the way. Stay vigilant, but fear not. We walk with the arisen slayer of hydras. Slayer of snacks. Wow. Quest knowledge. I'm Let us go! Doing this quest. Quite the grand structure. A wake perhaps. Protect the car! Go at once. How do I... What were the options? Help. Help. Go. Or come. That's pretty much the same, but... Can I direct them to heal each other? You know, top up their health, their, their health bars or something. Here I go. Very well. Yes, right away. I'll go at once. <laughs> Slurp up milk. <laughs> Slurp on Milky's milkers. No. Even goblins come here. Goblins threat. come. And they walk the roads openly. <laughs> goblins. Strength in numbers arisen. I think we'll probably just end up this one this this escort. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I was gonna say I'll, we'll probably end up this this escort quest and that's gonna be it for the stream. <laughs> oh my god. Solid 
Those gosh darn harpies. Just flashing their titties all over the place. Oh my god, they're putting me to sleep. You must put me to sleep. What the fuck? Hey, Lord, will cause your stamina to deplete more quickly. So, because I was just carrying this this guy, I was hoping that would help wake him up. But it doesn't seem like it does. Does that? Ouch. Come on, come down here, piece of shit. How far is your destination? Probably not that far. Pretty sure it's like, just like up here. I thought we were gonna get all the way to these gates, but apparently it's just up here, so that's neat. And we're bringing the snake hand. The big old snake with its big snoot. Hello, Donator. How you doing? More harpies. There shall be no flashing of titties on my watch. On, come here. Fuck. Still enjoy your art. I was looking back on some of your older stuff I saved recently. <laughs> well, thank you. A group of snails formed in a circle around one older snail. A snail church. A snurch. <laughs> what the fuck? What does that even mean? Give me fire. Give me strength. There we go. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Ooh. <laughs> There's more of them down there. I see them. With so many twists, it's hard to see what lies ahead. A bird, perhaps? <laughs> ah, that was pretty fucking useless. <laughs> Oh my god. My fire is yours. There we go. Nice. With my help, we have triumphed. The combat system is pretty nice. Like I I st I I keep saying that, but it's really nice. It's really good. Feels feels meaty.
I've been playing so much Dark Souls that I actually forget that I can jump in this game. Like now every time I play like a, a fucking RPG I forget that I can actually jump. <laughs> without having to be running or some weird shit. Why is there, like, an abandoned house here? Cottage. I, what's inside. I don't know. I'm just fucking stealing shit. Let's go. More harpies! There we go. All right, let's let's get back to the the escort. Behind us, stand clear. Oh my God! Don't stop. We're exposed here. I'm on my way. I'll go at once. What, what was I supposed to do about that fucking rock? Someone healed the bull. Who's throwing fucking rocks at us? Is the man's voice or similar to Fire Emblem's crumbs? Huh. Well, I wouldn't know. <laughs> Dwayne the Rock Jones. God damn it. My God. Stop with the fucking rocks. A bird, perhaps? No, it's not a bird. It's harpies. We've been finding them the whole way through. Oh, shit. I was not expecting that. You know, now I'm regretting not buying the skill for flying characters, you know, to take down flying characters. Good. What the fuck am I supposed to do with these, like, flying harpies? If I may say so myself. If you lose your way, you need but consult your map. <gasps> Is it a bonfire? What the fuck? <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> Why would they do that? This treacherously steep. Wow, this this escort quest is taking like way longer than I thought it was gonna. Do. <laughs> You've probably already seen the way you buy skills and equipment. Yes, there are skills in each class that are actually universal, so you can build your own class over time. Oh, you can build. Really, really so you can be a fighter with skills from Strider and Mage or various hybrids. They're all more passive skills, but they're all useful. All right. That seems pretty neat. Oh, we're still in this fucking circle area. We are definitely going to get all the way up to the gates. This is going to take a while. Have we gotten anything else in terms of like tools or something? Deadly throwing knife introduced by bandits. 
Okay, so those are consumables. It's probably not. Equipment. Yeah, no, we haven't really gotten anything new here. Oh, we have a cape, though. We have a cape, sure. Why not? I mean, it's all tattered and broken, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Okay. Stay calm. There must be a reason to open the gates. Fire and flood. Wow. Oh, but there's more gobbles. These are not goblins. These are not cute little green short stacks. I don't know what these are, but these are definitely not goblins. <laughs> Where's my beautiful green short stacks? My god, someone healed the bull. We're not far now, men. Keep marching. This place must have seen a ferocious battle. This is the final way castle before Grand Sorin. I, I don't want to grab you. I want to grab the... What the fuck? <laughs> this is the second time you just hit explosives for no reason. Stop it. Stay vigilant till we're in Grand Soren's gates, men. <laughs> My god. We were just talking about how nice the AI is, and then they do that shit. We're all almost there. I can see the gates. <laughs> you can see the end. What have you done with my green short stacks? there please please just let me get there <laughs> please let's just please let me just get there the captain is in sight make gobbo's cute short stacks again yeah hello coco how's durgan's donku hello bonds it's pretty fun pretty fun it's it's been a two hour tutorial so far but it's it's fun it's pretty, pretty funny. Come on. I'm grabbing him. Someone fucking stab him or something. I don't know. Pokemon tutorial is better than this mess. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Pokemon suffers from the same. Whenever I tried to play Pokemon, I think it was Sun and Moon. 
It was the same fucking problem. It was like two hours and I still couldn't fucking play the game. <laughs> As fan, I can tell people don't like Dragon's Dogma 2 because it's Dragon's Dogma 2 and not 2.0. They were expecting a massive upgrade and instead just more of the same. People made up a game in their mind and that's uh, with all the hype. Uh, I mean, I mean, I can understand, you know, if you've been waiting like 10 years for a game, you're kind of expecting something revolutionary, you know? Not just like, you know, more of the same. But, but I understand what you mean, though. It is funny. I, I've seen like... There was so much hype, and there, and then immediately so much disappointment on this um, Dragon's Dogma 2. Honestly, the things that I feel like are the most egregious are just like the microtransactions and whatnot. I think that's like really the most egregious uh, stuff in in Dragon's Dogma 2. There's a Dragon's Dogma MMORPG that was only in Japan. That sounds fucking nice. That sounds po that sounds poggers. We're almost there. We're almost there, please. Please let us just get to our de fucking destination. <laughs> also, Baker, hello. My god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the people just joining in, but this is like the very tail end of the stream. <laughs> just, I, I've been doing this fucking escort mission for like 20 minutes. This was supposed to be like the last thing. <laughs> It's like, it's like, I'm gonna do this mission and that's gonna be it. And then it turned into a fucking 20 minute quest. <laughs> the microtransactions are not that bad, to be honest. Everything there is just in game, just costs money. But yeah, see here, here's my problem with microtransactions that can like, oh, you can get them in game. So it doesn't matter. It's like, I don't trust that the balance of the game was not fucked in order to make the micro microtransactions appealing. So like even if you can get them in game, it's probably gonna be like very fucking grindy. It's probably gonna be a fucking chore or something like that. I just, I just can't trust that they didn't fuck the balance of the game for the sake of microtransactions. So I just don't buy games with like, you know, those kinds of microtransactions. I stopped playing Destiny because of stuff like that. My God, we finally did it. Well done, we fucking did it. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> oh, this game was bad with microtransactions at the start too, but like, you see how this version has all the DLC already? Yeah, this is the version everyone played, so they don't know. Oh, I see, I see. That's that's a good point, actually. I didn't know. I got this game gifted, so I didn't even buy it myself, <laughs> to be honest. I, I got this game gifted, like, some years ago. And again, like, the, the, the whole story is that I tried to play it, and I just kept getting a fucking error, like, pointing to my GPU. And I never knew how to fix it. And then, like, I kind of forgot about the game. And now, with Dragon's Dogma 2 and all the fucking, like, controversy around it, I decided to check this out. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna try and, like, make it work. And then suddenly it just worked. I re-downloaded the game and it was, like, fine. It just ran first fucking try. So, it probably has something to do with my previous GPU. It probably has something to do with the GPU or CPU that I was using, like, those years ago. I don't fucking know. But anyways, we oh, fucking did it. it. <laughs> we reached the, the fucking place finally. My God. Walk proud through these streets, men. We are heroes to the people of Grand Sorin. Wow. We're heroes. I have issues with it when all tabbing. Uh, I can I can see that. Yeah, but from what I can see, that's just like Windows being fucking weird about like full full screen applications, which is usually something that happens. Oh yeah, your inventory is about to get or has already gotten like different rings and armor armor pieces. Are they in stones? I can't remember. And that's all originally microtransactions. Oh my god, that fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh no I haven't gotten like anything like special with rings or armor pieces yet but like god damn I mean then again it's Capcom so I'm kind of not surprised in the fucking slightest I'll have words sent for you friend pray sojourn in the capital a while Thank you, Mercedes. <laughs> the accents are all over the place. It's so funny. 
Why is this guy fucking eyeing me like that? Ah, fortune smiles upon me. Well met, sir, at Izen. I am called Mason, if it please you. Now you're currently right. capital, a conquering hero. You'll be needing aught to do, eh? My word to you, begin with the pawns. Inquire about them here in Grand Solid. All right. Their kinds woven tight into the fate of the Arisen. If you know your destiny, know them. Yes, everyone's been talking about the fucking pawns. The items you received have been distributed to your main pawn and item storage. What is this? I've gained quest knowledge. A city near to what did we get? Did we finally end the fucking Mason tutorial? Check failed. Gems <laughs> those items. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Where, where's the where's the items? What items did I get? Hunk of ore, sure. Hmm, I still don't see any like armor pieces. Where are they? Where's my stuff? Share? What is this? Oh, this is a like a photo thing. They're in storage. Oh, I can check those at an inn, can't I? Oh, that sucks. That's like I I hate when games do that. Whenever they give you like, oh, look at all this fucking premium armor that you can use. A lot of MMO, a lot of free to play MMOs do that, and I fucking hate it. <laughs> it's so bad. All right. Well, I think we're gonna leave it at that for tonight, and we're probably gonna continue with this. We're probably gonna continue with Dragon's Dogma uh, because. It do be fun. And we're finally done with the fucking tutorial. <laughs> I think. I think we're done with the tutorial. I think two hours tutorial, two and a half hours tutorial is done. God damn it. Nobody remembers that because nobody played this until the release. Honestly, that makes a lot of sense. When you put it like that, that actually makes a lot of sense. And again, it's not like Capcom is like new to doing this sort of fucking shit with microtransactions and whatnot. Like this is not a new thing for them. They kind of do night, it all Capcom. the time. Have a good night, everyone. But anyways, yes. Us. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you for joining me tonight. Hope you all had a good old time. Hope you had fun. I had fun. This is this is looking to be a pretty fun good game. Good night, Coco. I probably <laughs> won't be able to make it on Tuesday on account of it being my long night. Oh, In no case worries. I don't see you then, I'll see you on Friday. No Until worries. Next time. No worries, Sheriff. Have a good night. Before I forget, did you see the pictures in the Discord of all the jewelry I normally wear? I did. <laughs> I did see them. Anyways, I'll re remember to save. You're you're so right. Let's let's just fucking save before. Save and return to title screen. Yes. Uh, yes, continue. Saving. Hey, there we go. That's a good spot to leave it at. So, anyways, have a good night, everyone. Thank you again for joining. Hope you had a fun, a fun time, and I'll be seeing you again on Tuesday. Right? Have a good rest of your weekend. You know, have enjoy, have a good rest of your Friday, and enjoy your weekend. Have a good night, everyone. Love you all. Mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Have a good night. Bye.